Welcome back, everybody. We are getting right into the winner's match for this nice. European group. It's going to be Optimus versus a laser on Honor Grounds to start things off. They had quite a bit of chit-chat going on. I guess they're all reminiscing about the first times they played each other, first time they met, back when they were wee old pro gamers, I guess. The Dutch StarCraft League, I think, is what they were bringing up. But that's not what we're casting. Good segue. The Ting Open, Season 3, and in the top right is the blue Zerg. He's a laser. And of course, what's really great about this before we introduce the other player is that this is the winner's match. So nobody gets eliminated here. One person simply makes it through to the round of 16. Wow. That's spawning here in the bottom right. We got the red Terran player from Dead Pixels. It's Optimus. But yeah, so I mean, it really sucks seeing Bly go out. Really big fan of Bly, I like him a lot. And you guys should know this too. That's not even like fake words, but I uh, I really don't know how I feel about this one because on one hand, I really want to see Optimus do uh, well enough to surprise us, get out of the group and kind of show everyone that, you know, what he's made out of. On the other hand though, I don't want somebody like a laser to kind of like lose his prowess as such an amazing Zerg player to Optimus who is again, surprised us one th once with his TBZ. Can he do it again? <laughs> Can he? I'm trying to oh. point out that gas first. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Sorry, I was blabbering, but with go. the second barracks coming down, pretty much locks in the build. But this is not proxy. This is like the version that's at home. So I think it's a little bit easier to fall back off this and maybe not get so committed to the, what was it, like 10 minute Reapers he had to do before? <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you to Exizer Wish for the 400 bits total. Nice. Switch oh, here. Exizer Wish actually brings up a good point, too. For the Ting Offline Finals, if you guys missed the announcement, it's been on Twitter, it's been on Facebook, it's been on uh, Team Liquid, everywhere we could. It was announced the location of the finals is going to be in the Corsair headquarters in San Jose, California. And people have been tweeting and asking about tickets and all this. There's nothing to sign up for right now. That part's still being figured out, like, legally speaking. But I will let you know after talking to the team, because if you guys are like, where was Rifkin all day yesterday? I was at the Corsair headquarters. We were doing a lot of cool planning and preparations for the event. But we also discussed some things. And again, the plan is ideally the event shouldn't cost you anything. You may still need a ticket in terms of, like, just signing up for it through Eventbrite but it shouldn't cost you a penny. We want every fan who loves StarCraft to come and enjoy the tournament with us. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I was using the legit excuse, but you should have seen what chat was guessing you were doing. Oh, what was chat guessing I was doing? Oh, it had to do with maybe you drank too much blood and felt a little sleepy or that... Uh... You know, I don't know if I appreciate that more or less than like guessing that I had like cringed my way to like fly across the country and stalk you or something. Like, cause you know, th that could have gone either way, knowing our fans. Yeah. Either way. Uh, the Reaper battle has commenced, clearly. A laser did not get the fastest scout on it, but he knows that it is now. Optimus also had an SCV scout to see where his opponent was. I think you might prefer horizontal, but vertical isn't bad either. Actually, I'm not sure which one is preferable, but point is not cross, so Optimus is probably okay with these positions. I do really like that the laser took this outside expansion, which I think should be the norm, as it gives you a little bit of creep spread. And yes. uh, you don't have to deal with running back and forth in the middle of this pathway, for instance. I definitely agree with that, but uh, they may not have cross spawns, but a laser might be getting cross with Optimus' pressure. And, I mean, the lings are getting kind of low in those eggs. It's kind of scary to consider he's going to lose four or six oh, lings. Boy. Not to, like, resources lost, but to the eggs just never getting to hatch. The queen spawns out and jumps. And, of course, the three of them already very, very low. That's a little bit scary. Like, those are the only lings a laser had, and if Optimus kind of gambled right there, I think he could have took them on. But now ten more lings joined through, six more on the way, another queen from the high ground coming through. Chance Fuse goes down. You don't really necessarily need a creep tumor in this situation because you took this base, which is really important. Lings try and chase off of creep, but that's not going to really work unless they're in really, really large numbers. We have an extra two barracks. I guess Optimus thought that was such a great thing he did last Let's game. Deep. <laughs> uh, well, it might so just actually, be his version. I I think Optimus went those extra two barracks because he couldn't recover. I think this time those extra ones are coming down with tech labs and probably going to be looking for stim a bit quicker because he does have a command center coming down with this too. Yeah. Like last game, his barracks were jumped on by Snoot. He was losing them on the front lines and he needed to still keep up production. So I don't think this is like has anything to do with like, oh yeah, that worked out pretty good last time. I think he's actually planned ahead for this one. It is the more unique way of following up Reapers, though. Like, you usually just take either a second and factory starport, or a third command center and then factory starport. But 
By the way, if I'm wrong, I'm totally okay with it because Five Racks Reaper is like my favorite thing. But anyway, <laughs> so we don't see the very skinny much use just yet, and it is yeah. gonna be for more Reapers! Five Racks Reaper, baby! Well, at some even against the for the, the Europeans, the foreigners, the non-Koreans, you still expect them to eventually stop building Reapers if you seem to have a control of things. But uh, that's where Optimus, I guess, gets them. <laughs> still building five groups at a time. A laser might miss drone or, you know, be a little bit slack on his micro. That's a lot of lings. They're trying to get surrounds. Queens are following, too. The creep trade has extended a little uh, bit farther out, and Optimus. he ended up getting a lot of Reapers. Yeah, this is the problem for Optimus. He tried to lead his shots with the grenades, which is what you need to do, but he ended up hitting more of his own Reapers as the laser was pulling back through that. Like, really oh. good display of control on those lings. Well, that was a mistake letting his queens go so far off of creep. One even tried to plant a creep tumor. Oh, wow. Or oh, wow. Another one goes down. Yeah, I guess the other one died. So now it's not any more extending creep, and all their energy is gone. You know, oh, through Jesus. most of this, too, Optimus is once again oh, going to build SCVs. He's got two bases instead of one behind this. His positioning should be better than that when he fought Snoop, but his Reaper just don't really reflect that. Well, they still did enough damage. Like, the Reapers aren't killing a laser, because if he had killed a Lings, then he just kills a laser. But his economy is killing a laser. A laser has had no room to drone. He's had to remake Queens. 38 SEDs with two mules and a perfect wall against 22 drones. A laser's got some catching up to do. <laughs> Trump's jealous. I'll tell you that right now. Nice. He's got a lot of emotions going through him. A couple more Reapers joining through. He's not stopping building Reapers, which means he's also not starting Stim, which is one of those things that a yeah. laser might be considering he's... thinking, okay, I still got a shot here. But it's seven barrack zombie group. Like, oh, what you can't the... hate on this. Where it's just so ridiculous. Even... I wanted to work so badly. But I, I do feel very strong. Like, yeah, third CC's on the way. One of those seven barracks could easily be making attack lab and researching Stim right now. Pretty easily. You have to stop producing two Reapers, but yeah. There's so many Reapers, man. He's building another barracks. He's going to have eight barracks, which is usually what you need on a fully saturated third base. Like, that's when you need eight barracks. So this is kind of extreme. It's so disgusting. This is like, like if anyone was watching this, they're like, this is the most Terran build I've ever seen. And I just, I love every second of it. But it's the fact that if this was any other map, he couldn't get away with it. Like, he's got the in, in, in base pocket. He's got the wall set up really nice. Big control of the watchtower gives him a lot of extra vision while he's dancing oh, around. Oh, he's guessing so badly. <laughs> he guessed like in the middle. He triangulated the creep tumor guess is what he did without realizing <laughs> it. Yeah, there's so many Reapers out that I, I, I'm so scared for a laser. Really, truly, like, he still hasn't been able to drone behind this. I hope they get the upgrades. I hope some of them live long enough to get upgrades. Dude, I want plus one Reapers so I can start referencing rough builds, right? But it's not just yet. Because Reapers fire two times, so upgrades are twice as good for them. And these lings are actually getting this oh, around. But Jesus. everybody dance, grenades go down. And this goes really badly for Optimus. Yeah, that wasn't too great. Let's try the juke and be kind of clever and... And it's taking a bunch of losses for it. A lot of these are still weak, too, so re-engaging might not be the best idea. Yeah, but you know what? Like, I think behind this, though, behind the scenes is what's most important. It's 51 SCVs and a third command center. He's finally starting to move towards Marines and Stim. And while maybe a laser will continue to make just links and hell, even roaches, the problem is going to look very much like when Snoot had to tap out, because there's just not going to be anything to compete with that economy. Yeah, this, this, this only, the third hatchery is only just finishing up now. That's not even producing larva, which he needs so desperately because all these queens have been fighting, not injecting. Yeah. Yeah, Altimus is winning pretty badly in that income war. Taking out more queens. He said that third base not even being injected. At least it's mining a little bit, but Laser realizes it's way <laughs> too far gone. Damn! Optimus takes game one. In before and before Rifkin uses that build every, every game on ladder next week. Right, I've like, I finally found a reason to abandon mech. Uh, no, I, I, I want to play the bets for this too, just now coming in. We got 8,000 partoofs on Optimus, so a little more faith after that first series. But it's still 20,256 20, on a laser. It's like a lot of us are uh, hedge our bets on a laser for this one, and I'm absolutely on hashtag team a laser. But I will tell you, Optimus is winning me over with each of these disgusting games. And the thing that's really good for Optimus, like let's 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 jump ahead of ourselves here, right? Before we get into this game, let's assume he wins game two. Let's assume he moves on to the round of sixteen. There's a very high chance that the round of sixteen is also going to be all Zerg because the other European group is three Zergs and a Protoss. It's, it's looking good. He can actually if Optimus, continue. Oh my god! If Optimus gets to the round of eight of this tournament by just fighting TVZs and does Reapers the whole way through, good I would for him. fucking <laughs> love it. Absolutely. It'd be amusing. I would It'd think be... that eventually he just gets oh, no. kind of figured out. 
He Damn. can't do it though, because if he does, then somebody will have proof that they can take to David Kim, and then Reapers will get nerfed. Finally, no. I, I, I gotta say, I think someone's gonna figure him out, right? So, for instance, right here, the next map is Abyssal Reef, the same map that he proxy Reapered Snoot. At least you should have been watching that game. Uh, he should be on point against further Reaper builds anyway, regardless of the builds or previous games that he saw. It shouldn't be the same case as last game, but Optimus was playing a lot of different styles against Snoots, and it wasn't just all the proxy Reapers. It's still kind of scary <laughs> for Laser. <laughs> they worked out really well. Uh, he's up one game to zero here in the winner's match, looking to just sail on through to that round of 16. Ladies and gentlemen, from Dead Pixels, it's the Blue Terran player, Optimus. In the bottom right is the Red Zerg. He is a laser. And again, I really want to go back on this. I'm sure there are Optimus fans that are tuning in, and they've absolutely hated the negativity I brought kind of like with Optimus to, to this group. But the reality is, what we've seen out of Optimus is bad TVZ. But what's kind of funny for me now is I'm realizing like maybe this isn't the exception in this group. That was the exception of bad games we saw before and let that influence too much how we thought of this player. Regardless of that, though, the point is he's still, of all the names in this group, I think the underdog, the most underdog, like him and Bly compared to Snoot and Laser, I think are the bottom two of the people we're voting on, we're probably thinking about, and now it's Optimus who's almost out of the group in first place. So for me, it's an awesome story, and I like to see the rise, and I want to see more out of him. So I am officially off Team of Laser, and I'm cheering for Optimus. Harsh, man. Harsh. How am I going to tell that to a laser? Don't. Don't rat me out. Don't be a rat. Don't be like, <laughs> snitches get stitches. Okay. Are you a Mountain Dew commercial? Is that Mountain Dew or Spray? I don't remember. Did you watch those okay. terrible commercials? That's a prison saying, dog. I don't think that's like a Pepsi No, no, no. Ad, no like. But it was. Okay, so I can't believe you didn't see this. This is like, this like blew up, you know? Like, it was pretty bad. Not just like social justice warrior, ha 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 bad, but it was like, why did you ever think this is going to be okay? So like one of these like soda uh, companies, I, I want to say it was Mountain Dew, but like something like that. Soda? Soda. Duh. Anyway, uh, they did this whole line of commercials where it was like a goat or something that like could talk. And at one point it had abused a woman, like it actually started like a fight with her. So in the next commercial that they did, they had it line up. They had a lineup, right? And like, like the goat was in there. And the woman was like all beat up and like bruised and stuff. And the guy was like, don't worry, he can't see you. Just like point out who is it. And she's like really obviously shaken and the goat's like, stitches get stitches. You know what you did. <laughs> don't choose it. And it's like an advertiser for fucking soda. I feel so uncomfortable just even hearing about this. It and it's not because like I'm taking really social justice for it. Like that's just bad. Like whoever produced that should have stopped. Yes, exactly. So like, no, this isn't a good idea, guys. It just doesn't so sound funny. It doesn't hear play it. well. Like, there was three commercials with this stupid thing, and it just, it, they were kind of, I feel like since, uh, like, Skittles maybe was the first one to do the truly weird shit, you know? Like, they, they went kind of weird at <laughs> the commercial, and everyone kind of found them funny. Everyone else tried to be really weird and different, and it doesn't, well, it doesn't work all the time, man. What do you think? Like, who, who cornered the weird funny market, right? Like, was it Skittles or was it Old Spice? I don't know who came first, to be honest. You know what? I just realized my deodorant is Old Spice and I love Skittles, so advertising works. Well, Skittles are amazing. Old Spice is on you. <laughs> yeah, Skittles are actually amazing. I, I love every color of Skittles equally. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, that was a lot of downtime filled. We have the, uh, it looks to be the same build on Cactus Valley. Uh, Optimus is using again here against a laser. So, hopefully a uh, laser is not too tricked into thinking this is maybe like a Banshee build. Because he did scout the tech lab. Not that the there wouldn't be much difference, I suppose. Like you still would put a spore crawler down, right? But um, maybe just take into account that two auto turrets will be attacking him from different sides. I don't know. I really hope that a laser is watching the game versus Snoot. But <laughs> then again, maybe he thought that Snoot was you know gonna take him out no problem and only watch like the last game or something. Who knows? Well, Hellion's a uh, little bit out of position, so this ends up working kind of poorly. He does fire up some of the links, but he doesn't get to the mineral line like you want to do. Yeah. There's that second raven. Are they just getting a fairly early? No, actually, no. Signing out with the spire. Or his lair, rather. He might get a spire, too, which is what I was thinking. Uh, but things are looking a-okay. Even a spine crawler coming down? All right, so he's going to be pretty safe. He doesn't want to have to have his units always, I guess, uh, here. Just be able to spread them out a little bit more. Cream spread looking good, too, and a third base 
He's on the way for Optimus. Is that Raven? So, yeah, we saw the Ravens last time. We saw both of them last time, too. And it feels like, okay, maybe Optimus isn't the biggest, most diverse player when it comes to Terran, but you don't need to be. Like, the thing is, Beyond made a career winning BlizzCon off of 2 one one builds, right? Like, the guy didn't have to crazy change things up. And if Optimus has got these two builds that work for him, I say more power to him. So two Ravens is a bit odd. The Hellion attacks are seeming a bit weak, but it worked before, and if it works again, I'll be very much encouraged to even try it myself. But, uh, yeah, there's Stim coming up behind us slowly and steady. Looks like a laser's on point. He just shooed that to Raven away before he got an auto turret down. Still doing it. Queen range is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's also not a ton of backspace, I suppose, compared to some other maps. But other Raven might distract enough so that this Raven could finally get a shot in. But I think it's... I think it's obvious he either played against the four or just was watching the game, because this seems a little bit too good against... Uh, the surprising, usually surprising double raven. He also scouted, confirmed that it's barracks, so no misunderstanding about uh, potential mech. And might just still go for that spire, but it's only getting his upgrades now. So that was a pretty fast lair. I felt like that bailing us was, was fast, but it was because the lair is also a bit quick. Oh, the queen almost does. And ten drones did go down, so even though he was prepared for the first raven, both of them finally got him. Well, the Satchery might get uh, canceled to Hellion Fire, which is actually kind of uncommon wow. to see. Oh my god. Killed! Oh, Oops. no, and laser! You Expects can't that. afford that. 13 drones died, but this goes on too. I mean, this is just getting nasty. Yeah. Yeah, he, since he kind of went for a bit different of a build here, you know, he didn't get the super quick 1-1. Uh, one, one. He's even a little bit behind on upgrades. You know, centrifugal hooks didn't exactly... They weren't the fastest ever because the lair finished, I want to say, like a minute ago. It only started at 30 seconds ago. Um, feels a little off, uh, really. It's not a terrible game. You know, still at 64 well, drones and a fourth base on the way, but it's definitely some wrong moves. I mean, you just don't expect Hellions to be that effective. Yeah. I mean, telling the whole base was a pretty big deal, but there were drones behind it too. But uh, regardless of all this, I mean, Optimus is still on the path, the straight and narrow. He's got 1-1, one, one, his stim's finished up, combat shields is on the way. So it is just kind of like, what can he still do with these Reavers and Hellions? Maybe keeping them alive later for distraction tactics would be best, but regardless, his army back at home is not looking too shabby. In fact, the supply gap right now is a little bit scary to look at. Yeah, 20 with good creep spread is, is okay, but the creep spread has been delayed a little bit. Over here, it should be fine when the Hellions move out, but I'm looking towards here. The laser ended up giving up this base and going for this one. I actually watched a Snoot game recently, and I was really more convinced that maybe this is the better base to take over here to the left, but I, I'm guessing it's still going to be a lot of time before everyone agrees what is the best space to take in Abyssal Reef for every race, in fact. Terrans mostly I mean, agree this base, but clearly, I'll just didn't think so. We still got people bouncing around natural bases for half the maps right now. Like, <laughs> it's true. It's going to be some time. Oh, my cat is in the cutest pose right now. I really want to take a picture, but I probably shouldn't. Damn. Yeah, I guess that's the problem when you have to observe the game. You can't just, like, mess around with Apollo like you should. Sorry. But uh, most of the banelings get used up right away, so the links trade up as they can. Queens pick up the medevac there at the end, but as the new banelings roll in, Optimus was very smart to pull back. Yeah. Uh, Auto turret's still trying to do damage. Yeah, he has nice, both of them alive. Any. Like, even, even if, because like, auto-trips only last seven seconds here for Contact Guys, even if for seven seconds though, that pulls off the whole mineral line of mining, like, that's still pretty good. Oh, Queens went a little bit too far forward, she loses one. Spire is finally on the way. 2-2 two -two is falling even farther behind, I think. Oh, maybe not, but still behind the 2-2. Two -two. Banelings roll in, want to take out any bunker or any marines that are put it off to the side. Uh, luckily, Optimus is looking, he's trying to place on a fourth base, so he pulls away. And we'll be able to save his SCVs. Most of them. I, I don't know what graphic or physics settings you get on, but I hope it's Ultra, because I just I love watching the corpses on this map. I changed it to Ultra when you said I should. I don't know if it's for the server, too. Like, I see corpses flying around everywhere. I just don't notice them as much as you do. Yeah, oh, it's, it's individual. But uh, speaking of corpses, 10 SCV corpses. Now as those banelings run in for a hit. Uh, 11 even as he gets a couple more on the way out with 12. Nice. 
Uh, drilling claws on the way from Optimus. You know, I think one of the stark differences I look at for these two players, though. Oh, we got an attack up there to the north, too. Uh, Optimus is not a bad player, and I'm not going to try and criticize him. But I think a laser's macro is better and stronger, and it's one of his strong suits. And it's something where if Optimus keeps getting distracted, and he doesn't have like a 30 worker lead, because he didn't 3, 5, 7 racks Reaper, on even footing, I give it to a laser still. But right now, army supply still very heavily favors Optimus. Upgrades in his favor as well, but those are about to even up. Yeah, about to. So even though they're behind by a good like 40 seconds, it doesn't really end up mattering. Another Ling attack. Optimus, I really hope you just put a bunker down there. And, you know, it's not, it's or, or, or depots or a wall, just like not for free at least. Yeah, and he's pretty good at pulling them away, so he's only lost five to 10 at a time, not like the whole 20, but uh, now racking up to 15, so a bit of a counter curse. My bad. Queen goes down, and he is controlling his army okay here. Uh, what if I did not get the shot that I wanted? That one is a little bit better, but still not great. Uh, Ravens are finally being cleaned up by the Mutas, but I checked. That's what I was doing. I was checking the um, kills on them, and what was it, like 21? And then was it 17? And they probably got a few more before they died. Pretty effective stuff. The game calms down, and the laser still is on four bases, 65 drones. Now with Mutas to help out, maybe snipe a couple wood of mines, keep the Marauders off his back. The Optimus has a very strong rally down the middle of the map. Good pop up on the wood of mines. They're all gone Ooh. now, actually, despite his efforts to control them. But that being said, the Thor, if he picks up and saves this, is going to be so good against those Mutas. He's losing so many right now. Uh, another counter attack. He's going to try and take out. There's nothing over here once again. No bunker. No Marines. He's been rallying through the middle of the map, trying to apply too much pressure for a laser to hold this... on, but I think it backfired. Yeah, and I think that's the biggest problem. Like, he gave up so much for this. So this attack, the, the Thor goes down, the Marines are going to die. And now with having lost some of the production at the third, having lost the mining on said third, Optimus finds himself in just the most terrible situation. Not even lifting up that factory. Medivac's all gone. I mean, the army supplies are kind of even, but I think Optimus is really falling out of this game now. He definitely is. Never started that fourth base that he clearly wanted to go for. Then he pulled away his SCVs, then lost SCVs. He wanted to continue this game into a macro four or five base, maybe even, but was denied at a pretty important time. And a laser is just truly run away at this point. 130 supply overall to 94. Optimus has one push to make things work. And this is his army. Not a very impressive one. Yeah. I will say though, uh, I really, it, it's it's cool though. This really does show another side to Optimus where, again, I, I don't think he's making the worst decisions. I, I, the third base thing is just too much of an opening. Like at this point, like build a bunker, right? But I don't think he's making a lot of mistakes. His macro is pretty on point. It's not like he's floating thousands of resources. Like no real big dumb glaring mistakes but it really shows you like if he doesn't get a lead through those reapers something a laser can really like through just macro mechanics alone catch up like a laser's been down in army supply for like 80 percent of this game and now he's finally ahead and in in my opinion a very good way he had that game on cactus valley versus snoots but that was also not a game that emphasized the mid game uh, he had a good push a bit later on with a lot of tanks, and then really started to control the outward, uh, outlying bases. So, it feels kind of like obviously he's an early game player or a late game player, but his mid game can kind of falter. That, that's gonna be the crushing blow, I think. Laser well, should hey, feel gonna... confident. I, I actually, at this Ooh. point, like, I'm okay, because if a laser wins this, we get the game three, right? We get a little bit more of these players, but... I don't know, he's going to deal with 23 Mutalisks, and 23 Mutalisks might not have upgrades, but it's still 23 Mutalisks. Yeah. Yeah, Optimus does have plus three. <laughs> That's, you know, it's great, but he's now lifted his main command center over, down 50 overall supply. That drop almost found the perfect transfer of, like, 15 drones, but couldn't actually deal any damage. He knows the entire army is over here, and he'll take advantage of that to maybe even snipe this base and still get a good number of drones. But then he'll find himself in a position that he's just trapped. He's gonna have to pick up before the Mutas get over here, and he, well, is successfully gonna do that. That's fortunate for him. Well, somewhat successfully. Oh, the Wood of Mines just not get the shots that they would really have helped. And no Thor means the Mutas are probably gonna clean everything up here. Oh, jeez. That was a massacre. What's that? What's that massacre that was like the the the, the gaff from that one chick? Uh, the greening. 
bowl. The Green Bay Bombay or... Massacre or something. No, it's definitely thing a bowl like... in the in the name. It was like bowling. What the hell? <laughs> My point is, I feel like we we could just start naming like fights like that that because that's more of a massacre than the non-real one that happened that they claim happened. But Not real one. anyways, oh boy. jokes aside here, the meters are actually getting kind of killed. He's going a little bit deep with this. I hope a laser doesn't get greedy. He's in a very good spot, but he could give it all away. Maybe not. Okay, I was worried because the meters started getting shaved off. Like, that went from 23 meters to, like, 13 really quick, but no, nah, laser pulls through. He takes the second game and ties up the series now one-to-one. -one. Yes, he does. The final map will be... Let's see here. Look at that talking. Paladino Terminal. Oh, okay. That'll be an interesting final map in this TVZ, but we're going to take a quick two-minute break. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey everyone, we are into a Paladino Terminal, the last game in the Winners series. We have not seen this at all today, I don't believe. It's quite a short map. In the bottom right, surprising us all by even getting here and then being tied up, is the Red Terran Optimus. I, uh, I just want to say really quick too, I've been swapping my teams a lot. I'm the most wishy-washy Fairweather fan here. But I've changed my stance once again to being Team Elazer. But I'm on Team Elazer because I'm on Team Optimus. Explain that more in a second. Top right, he's got for that early pool. It's the Blue Zerg Elazer. Why? Now, this might just be the two to four lanes that go cancel Command Center. Or maybe it's, he's looking for the it's, Reapers. It's but has got to be a speed link follow up to actually cancel the Command Center. I don't know if it's going to work, well, though. So, you know, to finish my tangent, because I sound like a crazy person, right? I'm on Team Laser to win this series 2-1. That way I, as a true fan of Team Optimus, will get a rematch of Optimus versus Snoot in the last best of three of the day. I see, I see what you're thinking. Tin foil hat on. I don't think that second gas finishes, does it? I, what? Oh, I... what? It's fast roaches. Whoa. Oh, sick, oh. this will be for the Ravager push. That is All so right, disgusting then. to hold off. All right, this makes a little more sense. You kind of forget that is also an option. And one that a laser used in Nation Wars. <laughs> and almost one oh. with. But the reason I thought it wasn't going to work was, one, if there's an SCD scout and you go for an early pool, you're already kind of like, oh, shit. Like, you know, this was happening. But then, two, I'll just go for a gas first. And I was like, oh, he's going to, like, triple rex Reaper. And Reapers actually do well enough against small numbers of roaches. Grenades fly everywhere, and, you know, it's, it's trouble. So... I want to say Optimus will take the better engagement here, but maybe his Reapers die. You know, one Reaper death is a huge deal this early on in the game. I, I don't know. But Elasia's going to eventually see, like, one Reaper and then two Reapers and a lack of second command center, and he's going to probably not be happy with that. Well, this is, a. Uh, I, I don't know. This is actually kind of okay still, though, because the Raptors come across the map. And the thing is, if you guys don't know, back in the day before people figured out how to mi like, micro their speedlings properly, Ravager's where they go too, because their auto attack range was the only thing that could deal with this. So okay. whether there's a full wall, a half a wall, a hole in the wall, the point is the Ravagers can actually fight back the Reapers. And usually too, let me take this one step further, the Roaches and Ravagers are made as a response, not preemptively. So you've got barely three Ravagers out by the time there's like seven Reapers in play. Instead, he's already got the Ravagers out. It's a good point. This is what I was talking about buying time, by the way. So even though on a very short map, the Reapers have been able to stall out a little bit longer to get the bunker up. He's also swapped into Marines, which... Okay, like, I... I understand. I think Reapers also could have been fine, but right, the Ravagers are already outranging them and dealing a lot of damage out. There's four of them, too. Uh, I think that kills the Reaper. So the Marines might just be the better option. SVs are pulled. Uh, he did not preemptively make Supply was fast enough, so he's going to be Supply Blocks for quite a bit here. And that is a pretty big deal. He's trying to get a uh, Marauder out, but that supply block is huge. Well, the bunkers would normally be such a good hold. I think the positioning, though, here is only very slightly off. Because oh, the Ravagers can still reach them oh. without getting too dedicated. But as we can see, they are forced to go on the ramp. And that's what I think Optimus was trying to set up here. Yeah. Where, like, okay, if you are going to touch my bunker... You are going to take damage for it. That's really but, too. That's really cool. Like, the Marines were the only ones that could get a overlord, obviously. So that's pretty important. This, this is still up. tough, though. This this is... Oh. What's really tough about this is for a laser, he would love to just go for some drones right now. Optimus has pulled so many SCVs off mining. He doesn't have a second command center. A laser could right now, I think, if he wanted to try and macro out of this. But he's, like, doubling down with more Ravagers. 
And yeah, who it was that Finals Nation War game too, right? Was, like, was it Innovation he was fighting? He did this? I think so, yeah. And yeah. he just went so dedicated and so deep, and it just did not work out for him. It had a couple of chances too, though. So that's so why I'm kind of looking at this, and I'm like, okay, I think Optimus with the early enough scout, the appropriate response, I think he's okay. But, you know, sometimes the Curse of Biles hit, they're not repairing, uh, you know, uh, something can happen. But, yeah, I think Optimus had a, a very smart response to this. I would have gone Mass Reaper. Maybe that's still, like, you know, would have worked, but might have failed too. I don't know. <laughs> you just don't see oh. this dynamic uh, enough. Well, it's taken the laser a long time to possibly get another Overlord over here for positioning. And, of course, it's tough. The Reapers or the Marines were in the bunker before. But if he recognizes that the Marauders are in the bunker now, there's actually no range to shoot back the Overlord. Now, I'm not saying that, like, oh my god, Elazer's in a good position, because he still chose not to macro behind this. Like, he's shooting himself in the foot the longer he doesn't kill anything here. Yeah. A lot of units are stuck to try and deal with these Reapers, too. So that's, you know, no, no yeah. fear of Optus being broken. That's like Got a supply blocks. four Roaches, three Ravagers at home. That's like seven units dedicated to deal with like three Reapers. Excuse yeah. me, four Reapers. Yeah, four. Yeah, I think Optimus has this lockdown against these units, but if everything had come together, then maybe it's a little bit questionable. He knows that they didn't come forward. He hops past them into the main base, kills some very crucial drones. Two, three, probably four. Ooh. Like, sack them, I think. Sack the Reapers. I'm, and this is for somebody who's already on a very low drone count. Ten workers is not manageable. Nine workers is worse. My god, a laser is so screwed. I, I can't believe it. Well, I think it, it could have worked even against the three X Super opener. If a laser, if a Loftus had a different reaction, it might have still worked. If he undervalued, thought too much of his Reapers or, or anything, really, it could have still worked. But I think Ugh. he was really hoping for a command center on the low ground that would have been canceled. He would have gotten supply blocks longer. He wouldn't have had two extra barracks, obviously, for production. Look, I'm, yeah. I'm just going to say this and get really ahead of myself. If Optimus makes it to the Ting Open season finals, I am going to buy him so much fucking anything he wants. Chocolate, booze, girls, I don't care. Because okay. I need to celebrate this guy Guys. so badly. <laughs> I thought you going to say you're going to buy him a steak dinner. And I was like, that sounds reasonable. But then that went uh, somewhere else. So this steak is what I was talking about. anything else he wants, man. That's the incentive here. Rifkin's going to spoil you rotten for being a disgusting Terran player. So this is what I was talking about. Like, the mass amount of units might be able to so break Optimus. But it, it's it's up in the question, you know, and they came so much later than they were supposed to with those Reapers distracting. So, Stim is halfway done, a factory's on the way, one tank will help Ooh. so much, even if it's unseen. Oh, that DPS is pretty good. Yeah, I think, well, the, the problem is that Stim. That Stim is the death clock ticking. He may have killed the bunker, and they may have potentially opened up a way to get up the ramp. But the problem is, if Sim finishes, even without medevac support, Optimus's army can easily kill these Ravagers. Yeah. Sadly, they don't have a lot of health. No, they don't. Stim is, Stim is good. Still producing army, Shell's picking too. up a kill there, too. Nice. And it looks like a laser's screwed here. He did remake a couple of drones, so he's back up to 15. <laughs> Strong economy. Uh, but, yeah, that medevac finishing up a tank might be, yeah, preferable to a single medevac at this point. Uh, eventually, he'll also get a medevac. And Sim is done, so now I think that a laser really cannot push up. There it is. Could try and macro, but I just don't think it's gonna work. He's got three more drones, man. He's up to 18 workers now. Oh, good. Oh boy. Overload goes down, no more high ground vision. Medivac is on the way. Tank is just gonna. <laughs> a laser may tap out when he sees a tank. Well, he might just push when he sees the tank and then tap out when he loses <laughs> his army. I don't know. It's not, it's not too good. Thank you to Mier1989 for the 23 month resub. Almost two years. Keep killing it. Thank you. Oh, a bit dangerous to pick up that medevac. Take the slightest bit of danger, but I think he's okay. This, by the way, I want to point this out too. A lot of people were discussing this game in chat, and like, you know, you get your balance in balance. We even got some pro opinions going in there. I will say this though, I think a, this game was on a laser. He chose to do this from blindly from the get-go. He was really banking on Optimus not knowing how to deal with this. Optimus just defended, and he defended well, and that's all he needed to do to win the game. Yeah. No hatchery. Well, okay, at least he canceled it, but still no hatchery, no chance at mackering out of this. His army pulls away, and Optimus, I guess... I mean, he could try and wait on production in a forward command center, but he could also just lift his main command center if he really thought it was the only way to go. 
Alright, we still do fine. Drones going down. Very precious drones. That's it. GG. Optimus <laughs> I... is first in this group. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. Because this was a group of outstandingly good Zerg players. Snoot, a laser, Bly. I saw Optimus, like... Optimus, if you watch this VOD, we're real talking right now, bro. You and me here and now. I thought you were coming fourth place in this group. I thought you were dead last. I thought your TVZ was not good. But I could not be happier to have been proven wrong with this, to have my, opi my opinion change my point of view. I'm, and I'm really excited for the round of 16, because again, the other Zerg group, for those who don't know, it's like Denver and Nurcio and DNS, and I can't remember the fourth one off the top of my head, but it's like all Zerg. So there's a pretty good chance that the round of 16 is all TVZ in the European bracket. Optimus could go very far in this tournament if he keeps this up. I'm super stoked. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's... Oh, it's cost. So the other group's not all Zerg, but it's still majority Zerg. Sorry. Correct. So it might look very good for Optimus. I hope that really boosts his confidence in the matchup. The last match of the day of this group is going to be a laser versus Snoot. So not the rematch, but Ooh. amongst these two players, it's a rematch from a dozen other tournaments. And the laser well, you know... has a very good win record against the guy. We do, and there's so much to talk about for that. So what we'll do is we'll get the sponsor break out of the way. We'll play our commercials. We'll take a small break, and when we're back, we'll talk more about this really... Like, there is a crazy rivalry between Snoot and a laser, and it's really fun. But, uh, yeah, a word from our sponsors. Ting, great people. Check them out, guys. Here we go. You think that would have timed out, but it didn't. Sorry. Oh, okay. 